Hello, and welcome to the Otaku Clubhouse, formerly known as the Otaku Club. I'm Akuma Soul, and I'm joined here by my good friend, the misbehaving man-child himself, Felix. Ohayo gozaimasu! Stop it. Please, just no, <laughs> no more. And I'm joined here by my other friend, the man in mecha form, Hawkeyes of the Final Bla- Brave. You know, I'm getting a little offended that y'all niggas take so long to fucking introduce me. Like, it takes y'all like two damn minutes to introduce me. Next time, That's, y'all let me be Next time, first. we'll cut it short like your height. Well, don't, that's it don't, for don't. today's episode. <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. It was going to see you next week. Uh, anyways. Anyway. Jesus Christ. You you two need help. You know who else needs help? Fucking Microsoft. God damn. Scalebound was canceled. Microsoft all, just, needs a just fucking all in two out bullets canceled. to the back of the head. Suicide. Well, so somebody's nice. pointed this out to me. You guys remember this? They actually revealed uh, Scalebound, uh, Crack. I believe it was Scalebound, Crackdown Three, and uh, Phantom Dust, the new, the reboot, around the time that uh, they needed to get back after that horrible display they had one year with the Xbox One, uh, where Sony literally was just kicking them in the balls the whole time, and right. now two of those projects are gone, like. Well, one of those is canceled. One of those is fucking permanent vaporware, which you might ask, what's the difference? Well, uh, it's really functionally no difference, but there's always this small glimmer of hope inside Akuma's heart that uh, <laughs> a Phantom Dust 2 could make a comeback <laughs> in like 15 years. But Well, here's yeah, the thing, sad. though. Here's the thing, though. People were saying... Why is it that all these games are getting canceled all of a sudden from Microsoft? And somebody I was listening to the other day actually made a point that maybe the Phantom Dust, uh, maybe the Phantom Dust trailer was um, was made up like at the last second, and they weren't really thinking of like making it into a game. And then when they saw the reaction, they decided, oh, maybe we'll try. And then they were like, oh, maybe we won't. Well, Which... fucking Phil Spencer, fucking, if I remember correctly, he said that them canceling these games was, was good for gamers or some bullshit. I don't yeah. have the quote on me, and I'm like, how is canceling oh, that, games? No, yeah. no you're totally cool right. PR bullshit. Whenever I... something negative happens, you have to spin it as something positive, even though everybody knows it's bullshit. Well, according another thing I'd heard. uh Apparently, Kamiya has never really been to. Uh, he's never been like on good terms with Microsoft anyway, and it's not just this supposed thing where he had to take a mental health leave. Uh, there was an old tweet, maybe about two years ago, where they were supposed to be where they were showing off all the games, and they didn't show Scalebound, and or even hint to the fact that it was still being worked on, and Kamiya essentially said, like, are these Microsoft shitters kidding me? Are they fucking kidding me? So, I mean, Kamiya's known to speak his mind, too. He's not known to pull his punches when it's something he doesn't like. Microsoft has has really been fucking dropping the ball hard. How do you, you cancel a game that you sunk so much time and money into, and by all, like, it looked like there was an actual game there. It didn't look like beta, like, it didn't look like demos. It looked like a game from what they showed, and there was even more stuff that, uh, they posted on, uh, I believe on NeoGAF, like, behind-the-scenes footage of, like, gameplay where you were doing combos off the dragon. Yeah. From the dragon's perspective, and I don't understand what they thought. Like, did they think it was too much of a fucking? I, I don't understand. Like, and what reason would you have to cancel this game after uh, four years and like millions of dollars? I believe one of the things that was said was the fact that the engine was causing them a lot of problems. Yeah, I heard that they couldn't get it running like on the Xbox One. Just in general, but I, you, I, I want to say this, and uh, I, I, again, this is coming from nowhere of me having any idea what actually happened. This is just speculation. I think that it may have been the multiplayer being added in, and here's why. 
when you look at the game normally, like say you were you remember when they showed gameplay of uh, fake Dante running around with the dragon normally. You see the game runs fine. It's not exactly great, but it runs fine. You could tell it still needed work. But when they showed the multiplayer section with the giant monster, it may have been the giant monster being rendered that caused it, but you can see that there are severe frame drops. Right. So may, maybe it's that, but I don't know. I feel I feel it possibly was because in the early parts of the game, it was never shown that, oh, it's going to be multiplayer, then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, out of totally out of left field, it was multiplayer all of a sudden. I wouldn't put so it past So then Michael. the question... <laughs> Go ahead. Well, go ahead. I, 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 I would assume that Microsoft has some hand in that. Like, oh, well, uh, hey, uh, Platinum, I think you uh, think you should add multiplayer to this game. And uh, Yeah, it seems possible. To the, the normies. Well, not even just that. It's, you got to think about it. It's on a Microsoft console. And it's like, it's Microsoft is still an American company. So it's like, I, I can't even remember the last time Microsoft themselves put out a single-player game. I mean, technically they did with uh, ReCore, but you see how you see how well that ended up. <laughs> I mean, if it was a problem with the hardware, the Xbox One, not being able to run the game, it just begs the question of why didn't they, like, port it to, or, or just wait and then put it on the Scorpio and then make that like the killer app for the Scorpio. Make it a Scorpio exclusive game that would sell copies of that. Or, or is that a fucking a foreshadowing that the fucking Scorpio is going to be just like the PS Pro and not be that much of a, an improvement? No, uh, no. I think it's actually, uh, from my understanding again, uh, one of the things that was said, and it's very business, is that Platinum and Microsoft have parted ways which means that they're done. Like, whatever happened behind closed doors was bad enough to the point where they said, we're not working together. It's not like, oh, we have to, this project is being put away, we'll hopefully work together again in the future. No, this is a, I'm not working with you anymore, I'm done, kind of thing. Camille blocked that nigga on Twitter. (laughs) (laughs) Tell Spencer, get get the hell out of here. Didn't you get blocked by Camille on Twitter? (laughs) Yeah, all I did was fucking. I, all I did was do the fucking nose face at him, bro. God. How do you. Anyway, anyway, let's move on into uh, more video game news. So the Switch event happened, and I want to talk about it, but I don't want to go too far into depth with it, uh, because if you actually check the channel, somebody else. Felix over here actually put up another video, and he did. He went a pretty in-depth look at how he felt about it. So you should go check that out when you get time. But let's just give like quick general impressions. So go ahead. Man, the Switch looks like complete dog shit from what I've seen. Like, and I'm not even like being hyperbolic. The Wii U was trash. It had like four games. Come on now. Mm-hmm. So I would think they would learn a lesson, show off some fucking launch titles, right? No, nigga, they showed off one launch title, which was two. fucking all right, two, maybe one and a half. Fucking, they showed off the Zelda game, which admittedly it looks hot fire, not hot fire enough for me to buy a fucking console for it. And what was the other game? Fucking one two switch. Yeah, that one two switch, which is like we party or whatever, like they had back in the day. Fuck off. I, mean, we, I really we, feel like Nintendo dropped the ball in terms of launch titles. I mean, uh, yeah, they they have all the they have the ports, right? They have definitive ports, the definitive version of uh, no. <laughs> your <laughs> favorite I, game, which is supposedly which is supposedly the worst Disgaea, but I, I haven't played it. No, everybody thinks the worst Disgaea is D three, but uh, anyways, but. I don't think that's enough reason to buy a Switch. I mean, people will be like... I think some people are fooled into thinking that Breath of the Wild is a Switch-only Zelda. uh, When they could just go get a Wii U and play the game, but whatever. Uh, I really think Nintendo should have, like, fucking put a whole bunch of money into hiring more developers so they could have uh, Splatoon 2 out uh, for launch. That, That would have helped. Don't you mean Splatoon? Mm-mm. Stop it. Mm-mm. No. 
Uh, like I said in my little rant video, they they spent a lot of time focusing on the uh, the Joy-Con controller, which is a horrible name, by the way. Awful. Like, it was so horrible. horrible that I kept fucking mistaking it for Motion Joy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just I don't get why Joy-Con. Well, no, I get Joy-Con, but continue. I get why it's called Joy-Con because you're getting fucking ripped off by the price and of these like, things. And the price and just the general design, like these fucking controllers are out of control. <laughs> All right, so now it's my turn. To play now it's my turn to play devil's advocate and say that I'm actually buying a Switch. That's because you're in the uh, And I'm actually looking forward to most of the games that I've seen. Well, oh, I won't. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Not most of the games. Pretty good about it. <laughs> don't get me wrong. The Switch definitely looks like a console that. I would want to own, especially because the, the games did look hot fire. Like that Mario game looked like the best the Mario games been since like since Galaxy, the, since Galaxy, the original 2. Galaxy. Well, Galaxy Two. Nah, uh, was it's just a I, sequel I to played Galaxy. Gal I kind of prefer Galaxy One, but continue. But yeah, like the games, uh, a fucking Xenoblade Two, another fucking <laughs> No More Heroes. Uh, it, it, I, the the games are definitely man? gonna be good. Uh, who fucking cares, dude? I care. Okay, you and fucking one other person. You're like, yeah, okay, well, Bomberman. yeah, I'm the other person. I like Bomberman. Ah, fuck. Yeah, both of y'all. especially. Hey, look. After that fucking atrocious garbage pale file that zero. was fucking yeah, fucking Bomberman on the fucking Xbox. Please, the fact that they went back really says something, because. I don't know if you saw that, Felix, but if you ever played that game, but... <sighs> Boy, man, it's not like a game that you buy and you're like, yeah, time to sink 60 hours into this. Like, oh, yeah, fuck. Y'all niggas ain't I played Bomberman, Bomberman 64, 64. yo. That was my shit. Yeah, it, it was fucking... The, it was so weird, too, the fact that that was even, like, a game. It was an adventure Bomberman game. That game was fun. I mean, it's never. They're never gonna do that again because it's Konami, and Konami is the worst. But the fact that they even put out a Bomberman game to me, it's probably not gonna be sixty bucks. If it's more than fucking like thirty or forty bucks, they're ripping. It's just gonna ripping. be a download, like twenty dollars, like dude. But you well, know, they showed me and you are we're, we're fucking Xenoblade marks, right? We're we're no more heroes marks. It, it yeah. should be an instant sell for. Uh, Anybody who likes those games, but I, w I wouldn't buy it on launch. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to, again, like I said, I'm going to be devil's advocate. So there are, there are a bunch of games. I even, hell, I even thought ARMS looked better the second time I looked at it. When I first saw it, I was like, this is retarded. But then I actually looked at it again. I was like, oh, this isn't so bad. It looks okay. But this is the problem. I have the reverse issue that I had when they first uh, revealed the PS4. Where the PS4, when they first showed it off and they had it running for a while, I was like, wow, this console's so powerful, so cool, great controller. Whoa. Well, I have nothing to play. Like, every, because at that time, everything that was coming out was still, like, cross-generational, where they were trying to put it on PS3 and Xbox 360, while mm -hmm. also putting it on Xbox One and PS4. But with this, it's more like, wow, these games look great. I wish I didn't have to buy a new console for this. Because I don't hate everything about the switch but i hate a lot about it like maybe it's the fact that they were big people holding these controls but they look tiny no they did you see my thumbnail for the video i made the, the, the fucking controller itself is small the joy cons are fucking tiny the screen well, is tiny well no that's the thing though i'll uh, i'll see if i can find it but there was actually an image somebody showed it a joy con next to a one of the 3DSs, uh, I actually have the 3DS, a new 3DS XL, and it's technically larger than the 3DS XLs uh, where you hold your hands on it, but I, I have to hold it first before I decide. Anyway, uh, point is... I saw is, another picture, actually, and they had the Joy-Con horizontal or sideways, and they had uh, a Game Boy Advance Micro next to it, <laughs> and it was no, just barely bigger no. than that. Now, yeah. hang on. Let me tell you what real. Let me tell you the real point of it. You need to realize that somebody there had a Game Boy Micro, which means that that person didn't leave that place with that Game Boy Micro. That John was stolen. 
he, or he fucking sat on it and broke it. <laughs> oh, the Game Boy Micro. The Game Boy Micro, the PSP Go, uh, the Virtual Boy. Uh, I'm just reciting off old portable ideas. Well, I mean, I'm so sure Nintendo the, fans... I don't think it'll be abandoned like those. Nintendo fans will support it. Well, Nintendo drones like Akuma. But I don't think the mainstream like an audience other than like people with like little kids and like, like it, they're trying to market it as like it's like a fucking party item, like everybody's gonna have one. No. <laughs> it's the dumbest I, mean, idea I don't I don't ever. understand why Nintendo hasn't learned the lesson that ca- the casual audience aren't like they won't keep going they to can't. you like yeah. Like they yeah. have this idea in their head that the people who buy their games also go out to the fucking pier and fucking fish while they're playing one two switch. Like yeah. No, what you mean is they have the idea that anybody who still plays Nintendo games like myself has friends in real life. <laughs> well, that too. It's like uh, maybe it'll have some good games. Right now I'm not convinced. I'm never buying another Nintendo console after the Wii U. Like they they burn me with the Wii. They burn me with the Wii U. I'm not gonna be tricked three times. Fuck that. Well, it's not a console and it's not a portable. It's a hybrid. So You know what else is a hybrid? No. Good, neither do I. Moving on. (laughs) (laughs) So I I just wanna bring up this real quick to anybody who doesn't pay attention to it because probably nobody does uh there's been hints dropped that kenny omega might actually be going the wwe if not for only a little while just maybe appear in the royal rumble or something and where this comes from is uh it's a really weird theory but it makes some sense so before aj styles came in at the rumble John Cena on his Facebook page was actually posting just random pictures of AJ Styles. And recently, he actually started posting random pictures of Kenny Omega. So people are assuming that he might be coming to WWE for the Royal Rumble. Cena with the fucking spoilers. (laughs) See, here's the problem with this. Kenny Omega is Kenny Omega is as good as AJ Styles was at his prime. Like, Kenny Omega is that good right now. I've gone back and watched some of his matches, and he really does stand up to, like, Finn Balor or or AJ Styles during their prime. Maybe even better than Finn. So, the fact is that he can go anywhere. He's just, it's just like Kota Ibushi. They're so good that they could go anywhere, and I don't see why Kenny would go to the WWE unless they actually drop, like, a huge chunk of money. Which of Vince course, can you do. just go to get that e money, and like that's usually a very good incentive. I, I'm pretty sure that WWE is like, say what you want about the organization about Vince, but it's like the pinnacle. If you're in the WWE for however amount of time, uh, that's like a highlight to your wrestling career, definitely. Well, that's well. See, that's the thing. You would think that, but then you would look at uh, Cody Rhodes. When he was Stardust. And he, Ooh. Yeah. He hated. Absolutely hated that gimmick. Like he despised it so much. And then he actually told WWE. To stuff it. And left. And now he's like one of the most popular wrestlers in the world. Wrestling at TNA. Uh, New Japan. Ring of Honor. WCPW. All over the place. And he's just that much more popular now. And, I mean, there have been tons of wrestlers who have stu- who've told WWE to stuff it in the past, but those people usually tell them that and then go off to do not nothing important CM Punk. Yeah. Mm. I, I actually heard CM Punk ranting for the first time the other day. Man, that th- the thing he says about Ryback is hilarious. All right, you either tell me that you did that on purpose or you're dumb as fuck. I'm dumb as fuck. I'm dumb as fuck. <laughs> it's so hilarious. But like I said, that's just a small thing I wanted to talk about real quick. Another thing that I actually want to talk about I think is kind of important is... Uh, so, apparently, the the Anime Awards happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who gives While a While we're fuck? talking about dumb as fuck people, 
Let's talk about the people who voted for the anime awards. That includes all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you lying? Ah, uh, jeez. Anybody who's watching this probably doesn't probably thinks the anime awards is the dumbest thing ever. You know what? Anyway. I knew it was dumb, but I didn't know it was just going to be a popularity contest and not any popularity contest. One where the people don't even fucking really. Well, I I can't say that because some of the awards were well deserved. But then again. Some of the fuck. Let, let's talk about some of the wars, right? Let's 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 leave, you know, the the big minesweeper under the rug. Let's talk about the one uh, award category that JoJo's Part Four was nominated for, best villain, right? Oh, you mean oh. yeah, yeah. That one is absolutely the most like why. Wait, who How? won? Uh, the, fuck, the villain Yoshi. from Erased. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, while we're talking that, about this, we should just uh, do a general spoiler warning. Cause fucking... Yeah, just general spoilers for whoever. Fair but warning. Yeah, Fair warning. Adachi is the killer. <laughs> the principal is well, the killer. <laughs> so, uh, Gaku Yoshiro, from, or Yashiro, from Erased, actually won by a very, very slim margin. It's actually only, I think, about 500 votes that won him no not even 500 400 or so that won him the villain of the year award over Yoshikaga Akira so, so dumb I don't did these people even watch the last four fucking episodes he was he was awful he was awful his resolution was awful he didn't have a fucking motivation in the anime it's sure in the manga it was better but in the anime he's just oh, well, well, I go kill kids that's what i do well, fuck you well fuck everybody well who here's the thing now. here's the thing and i don't want to sound like that asshole but a race kind of appeals to the demographic of dumb people wanting to feel smart you mean like and that? I know this. Oh, this is gonna snob. come off as really. This is gonna come. Yeah, I know it's gonna come off as a snob, but that's kind of what it does. It appeals to the demographic of dumb people wanting to feel smart, in the fact that like, oh, you can look at the cinematography of this. You can look at the emotions that are displayed on the characters' faces and etc. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Erased. I do. I don't think it was gr the greatest thing ever, and I definitely think Kira should have won. Without question, I think Kira should have been the winner. But we could actually complain about that all day. I just want to jump back to Hero of the Year, which I think much deserved. It went to Deku. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I think Deku. I think Deku deserved it, and I do think that Mume uh, getting the least votes also made the most sense. I of again, course. I like her. Don't think it would. Don't think that Kabaneri deserves any awards. I'll be honest. She's I like not it. Even, she's not. She's no hero. She's no heroine. She's, uh, she she's killed a fucking you. pregnant woman to be edgy. <laughs> and then never talked about that scene again. Anyway, uh, there's also best best boy, which the guy from Yuri on Ice won. Best girl, which best girl, which oh, who who would have thought what to be mad to be magic that. The meme magic that Akuma mentioned before won Rem the seat. Which I meme magic is the most powerful how, thing. Who likes Rem other than everybody the likes Rem I other feel. than you? She had. Uh, I, well, I don't, I don't. Rem wasn't even the best girl of that show, let alone the season. <sighs> okay. But yeah, uh, Rem won, which she had the best girl meme. Like her actual, it's a fucking meme that she's the best girl. Anyway, uh, best fight scene. It was uh, Mob vs. Koyama from Mob Psycho, which, again, Mob Psycho is great, so I'm fine that with that. That wasn't even the best fight scene from Mob Psycho. Now, I know somebody in here is going to have a big stink about this. The best, the winner of best animation was Yuri on Ice. It's so fucking stupid! <laughs> it looked like trash! Oh my fucking god. Even even the part where they pump money into the animation, the fucking ice skating had horrible CG because they f fucking ran out of time! Why the fuck would anybody vote this their best animation? I don't know, maybe it was the same people who voted it best heartwarming scene. <laughs> the 
that's what I have to say about that. Moving on. <laughs> it just, it seems like Yuri on Ice essentially swept, and we'll talk more about this after I'm done. I uh, just want to run through all these real quick so that everybody can hear them and we can get to the point. So best drama was run, was won by Erased, which, mm. eh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, best couple was, again, Yuri on Ice. Uh, best comedy should have been on to... Oh, my nigga Sakamoto. Awkward. Sakamoto was a, uh, was a hidden gem. And it won. Mm-hmm. It won. Good. Uh, closest, uh, closest second was obviously Konosubo, which it deserved. Mm-hmm. But, uh, let's see. Then there was also best action and best opening and ending theme, which... Give me a second. I'm a little slow on picking these things up. You're very but, nice. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. It probably did. Which? Oh, hey, look. Best best ending. Yuri on ice. Uh, best action. Mob Psycho. Mm-hmm. And best opening theme goes to Yuri on ice. And the anime of the year is Yuri on ice. All right. So let's get let's let's just push it onto the table. Let's just get it all out of the way. Felix, how do you feel? I feel like people are stupid. That's what I feel like. I feel like people are voting for Yuri on Ice, not because they actually think that it's the best out of any of these categories, but because I hate to say it like, well, well, maybe Hawkwing has the same idea, but uh, because it's, it's, it's a great show. It's got it's Yoey Bay. The fucking Fujos voted for it. I think. Yuri on Ice might fall under what I mentioned before with uh, Erased, actually. Maybe it's just, again, this is coming from somebody who hasn't watched it, which I guess maybe someday I will have to, but that day ain't today. Uh, maybe it comes from a group of people who are who want to feel smart while watching an anime that isn't really, you know? I no. mean, maybe it's good. Maybe it is good. I have not watched it. Well, but my opinion on it, Yuri on Ice isn't just a fucking gay show. Yuri on Ice is a fucking flaming fucking nigga look like he smell like fucking candy canes <laughs> skating on ice fucking super homo show like. And I mean, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna fucking watch it. That's not for me. That ain't my lane. But I guess some people like it. Do I think that people might be overrating it because it's a fucking gay ass show? Yes. Do I think that uh, there's necessarily a problem with it? Not really. So the but I'm. <laughs> but I'm. It's, it's the same like fucking shit that happened with uh free yeah uh, well, well hang on, no, free. not there really actually, not with free but there's what show was no it uh, and free. the show this this season that nobody yeah. really cared about until like near the end Flip with the Fighters? witch no, oh, no, no yeah zeta it's the same shit mm. nobody gave a fuck about that show until fucking near the end of the series come on now i did i mean <sighs> like i said of course you did Nobody. But, but while we're on the subject of anime, and unless you guys have anything else you want to say about it. Uh, yeah, next time, uh, let's not have people vote on... Let, no, let's have people vote on... Let, let's do it totally reverse. Let's have the general population vote on the nominees and then have like a team of no even, no, 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 no. I, you know I would rather just have the fucking general public vote than fucking no some... no 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 with Sword Art Online coming out next uh, coming out this yeah, year definitely. I don't think you want no, that no 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 well, see I don't really I would rather see the reflection of the masses taste than no fuck some that if it's panelists. the worst show I would I would rather see the fucking panelists. I would I want the qualifications at least for them to have to see watched at least 
three episodes of every fucking anime. That's like no, I no, I would say everything that's nominated should. If, if it has a high enough nomination, I think that they should have to sit down and watch all the way through it. Unless it's something like, oh, Naruto is on the list. You have to watch every episode of Naruto. No. Mm. But moving on, I want to talk about some of the anime that started this year. So a few anime started, and we we're actually going to watch more in a little while. But among the ones that we watched, uh, I'll just I'll bring them up real quick, and uh, we can talk about them. Uh, there's Akiba Strip. We watched that. What'd you guys think? Good. Yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. Pretty funny. I... Has some pretty uh, pretty cool action scenes. Some waifus. Was all right. Uh, Masamune Kun's Revenge. I'm probably not gonna like it. I watched, yeah, we yeah. watched. That was the one where the guy, the kid, was fat, and then. Oh like, yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah. good. That's gonna be great. I'll watch I it. Feel... I don't really like it right now, but I, it's interesting, so I'll, I'll keep it's watching. It's gonna be great. I've read the manga. I've yet to actually get my hands on the light novel that it's based off of, but the manga was pretty good. And if the anime continues to follow suit, the animation at least looks decent. So, hopefully, it'll stay up to that quality. But how about everybody's be... favorite Fuka? Next. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, we watched uh, Saga of Tanya the Evil, which is basically Great. like... Lowly Hitler. Hitler. Yes! Yeah, so, well, yeah, Felix gets really excited when he talks yeah. about lollies and Hitler. <laughs> 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 Fucking degenerate. So, I think that the... I think that it's a pretty weird concept i mean i really want to want i really want to know who sat down and was like you know it would be awesome let's make a hitler lowly well she's not really like hitler she's not hit she's not hitler she's she's, she's, she's not even she's really like a nazi much. she's just a crazy person well it's too early to say that well i mean there it's very obvious like if you look at it that it's like based off of nazis kind of like oh, in the way course. that Kind of like in the way the Valkyria Chronicles uh, villains, I forget their name, are based off of Nazis, or Zeon is based off of Nazis. Well, Zeon is based more off of Imperial Japan than anything. Just the outfits are kind of reminiscent of Nazis and some of the aesthetics of the mobile suits. Zeon kind of reminds me of Israel. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. I mean, when you think about about it, though. Damn it, I had a joke, but I forgot it. Anyway, (laughs) uh, we also... Let's see, we also... You also watched Fuka. I want to look the camera directly. What we've seen I, so far, there's been no stinkers, yo. It's all been great. I, I can't wait to watch every other anime this season. It's going to be good. Now that we have finished our advertising, <laughs> let me tell okay, you. Okay, you know what? Let me get the... Fuka you, you is talk. shit. Fuka is a fucking sick sequel to one of the worst fucking animes I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. Suzuka, complete dog shit, trash characters, fucking, that's it. The characters just make me fucking hate the whole series. Suzuka is a fucking cunt, and the main character, I can't remember his name, it was like Yamato, some bullshit, and he's a fucking cuck, and was cucking some other fucking bitch. And, like, they want you to root for these characters. Like, oh, yeah, they got together then. No, they're fucking awful people. And not even they're not even, like, awful people. Like, interesting awful people. Like, fucking Griffith or somebody. <laughs> they're just fucking assholes. They're assholes. And, they're, they're assholes. And it's, like, they're assholes, but it expects you to be like, oh, they're so good. Exactly. And this fucking sequel series, you know, the one of the, the main heroine is the daughter of those two, and nobody gives a fuck. I don't know why. Who gave this nigga money to make another series? You know, this is this is so crazy. Considering a few podcasts back, we were actually talking about this, and you're like, "Oh, it's written by the same guy who wrote Suzuka," and you're like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll give it a try." <laughs> and here we well, are now. Well, that was because I did. I was like, "Oh, you know what? I'll give it a try." I, I, he can't fuck up twice. Lightning doesn't strike twice. Little, little did I know this nigga walks around with a fucking lightning rod on the top of his head everywhere he goes. Fuck for fuck's sake! I, I, I cannot tell you 
the amount of hatred I have for Suzuka and Yamato. It's on the par of Kyosuke and Kirino, to be honest, because it's two bad people doing bad things, but the fucking writer expects you to be like, yeah, so happy. Where, see, here's my problem. Here's my problem from a writing perspective. There are such characters, there are characters out there who are bad and they do bad things, but you usually root for them because it's either for a good cause or the character's charismatic, like, say, Deadpool or something. Like, why would I root for people who do bad things, expect everyone to think it's good, and then act like what they did was right? You know... Speaking from my perspective, this is so crazy how, how fucking turned off you guys are because of the, the writer's previous work. Whereas I actually went and I read the Fuka manga and I don't like it <laughs> because of what happens. Complete, like, I'm completely divorced by the prequel series. I, like, I have no context yeah, towards never that. Seen anything. And I still you've don't fucking seen... like I fucking hate it. Like, oh, it's... I, I shouldn't go into it. You guys are in for a, a ride if you're going to watch this anime, and so are we. We're going to watch all of it. It's going to be great. And then maybe if I and then maybe if I can actually get off my ass one day, I'll actually do a review of it and I'll give you guys about a solid 20 minutes of me yelling, just <laughs> constantly just screaming at the top of my lungs just Oh, ah! uh, come you for don't an even hour. know. You don't even know. <laughs> <sighs> Moving on. I'm sorry, we still have two more animes to talk about. Uh, there was Elbleave from uh, the writer of Reborn. I thought it was an alright first episode. Oh. I thought that was one of the most boring animes for the season. Like, I, I'm, I don't want to watch it anymore. It's, I think it's lame. Uh, like, it's really true. fucking lame. I give everything two episodes, but... Then there is also uh, Demichan, or Interview with Monster Girls. That was... Like I said, while we were watching that, it's just one of those animes that they fucking churn out so that Japanese salarymen don't kill themselves from depression. <laughs> well, to be honest, this interview with the Monster Girls, this came out around the same time that Monster Girls were extremely popular in manga, and I don't know why, but it was Interview with the Monster Girls, Monster Girl no Nichi Joe, and Centar no, and Centar Chan no Naomi. Which, uh, for anybody who's apparently interested in Monster Girls, uh, pro the most tame one is Interview with the Monster Girls. The most etchy one is uh, Monster Girl no Nichijo. And the most probably unnerving one is uh, Centaur-chan, because they actually go into explaining monster biology. And it's, like, very, very, very detailed. You wanna fuck a like, horse? <laughs> like there was this there I was looking at it and there was an entire chapter about when Centaur Chan was younger and they were potty training her. Why would anybody it, watch this? Uh, gross. It's going to be it's actually going to get an anime soon. But just real quick for anybody who needs to know, we're going to end up watching more anime uh probably sometime soon. Probably going to watch uh Konosuba, of course. Of course. Uh, we're going to watch Scum's Wish. Handshakers, Gabriel Dropout, A ACCA13, and uh, I'll probably s grab something else in that time, maybe Seiren, but we'll get back to you guys with more of the animes next time. But for now, let's see, is there anything else I can... Oh, right. So, here's another... I can't really say fun. It's actually, This is actually kind of on a more sour note. An editor at Kodansha is... Uh, being well was arrested for allegedly strangling his wife to death allegedly and and the editor was uh, one of the editors for attack on titan or it or well hang on let me actually clarify that because it was updated recently uh kodansha issued a statement after the arrest saying that park maintains his innocence and that he wasn't directly he wasn't a direct editor for attack on titan yeah, okay. Or in other words, or in other words, we're going to scrub this guy's name of everything until he gets the charges cleared. They were just role playing. He was just trying to hit the nape of her neck. It went too far. <laughs> That's why are you making Why are you making this joke? This is almost as bad as what happened with the uh, the boy To Ubakata when he shot Yuka and his wife. 
How is it almost as don't. bad? She didn't oh, die. Yeah, you know what? You're right. <laughs> this is much worse. What am I talking about? This is much worse. So, Toa Bakata uh, got arrested for, or got detained. I'm not sure if he actually, if they actually followed through with it, for supposedly punching his wife in the face so hard that he knocked out one of her teeth. Toa Bakata worked on uh, Mardok Scramble Psychopath Season 2 and uh, a few other things. I think Ghost in the Shell Arrive. <clears throat> Ghost in the Shell Arise as well. So, you know, no loss. Anyway. Casual. <laughs> anyway, there's a bunch of other smaller things that I just want to announce real quick. <clears throat> Mamoru Oshii is going to have a mini series called The Sand Whale in Me, and it's going to be on Tonami. Uh, an an- a manga series that I really like called uh, Magical Girl Spec Ops Asuka is being licensed over here, so most likely it's going to get an anime. And, uh, looks like, looks like Kazuma, Kazuma Kamachi is finally hinting that there might be news coming up soon <laughs> regarding, a new, regarding one of his series, which means oh, that we might finally get not... Index 3! Index is one of the most fucking boring-ass popular shows oh, I've ever seen. Much. I don't Can't see how, why people like it. It's like mediocre at best, and it's you just sit there, you watch it eating some Cheetos or something. Like I don't get it. I, I mean, I'm not. I, I, I'm not gonna say it's bad. I, I'm not even gonna say it's mediocre. I, I personally can't see the appeal. Uh, I, I, that's just it. Like I can't see the appeal. Well, I'm just a big fan of it. I've been a big fan since I first stumbled across it. Uh, back in the days of Haruhi, and oh. I've stayed a fan. Yeah. I said back in the days of Haruhi. There was a time where I where I had very very little things to choose from. It was I it was Haruhi, uh, Sisters of Walbuter. I think that was the name of the anime. Uh, Index and Toradora. Guess which two got kicked off and which two stuck with me forever. Ugh. Yeah, Haruhi and Sisters of Walbuter. Anyway, that was just a small thing I wanted to bring up. Uh, another thing in terms of anime that might be coming out, or, I'm sorry, I said might, I'm retarded. It's actually coming out. It's new Baki anime. So, I'm not a huge fan of Baki, but I know that Hawkwing is. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I like martial arts, so I'll be watching it. The one thing that I do know that everybody talked about in Baki was uh was that you know that the nose the noses the big round noses and the faces in Baki you think they'll actually translate that to anime correctly depends on the uh, the studio really i mean if 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 an animation studio was able to recreate the gigantic fucking snozzes of Akagi and uh, Kaiji i'm sure <laughs> the Baki noses can get the same treatment point is Baki's coming out so for whoever's really looking forward to it we'll probably end up watching it we'll talk a little bit about it here and there but I think that covers just about everything I wanted to bring up and well, everything we know on that note uh, since we're talking about something old being brought back uh, I'd like to shout out the weekly tube show who this week said he's coming back and he put out a video it was, it was just an old video but uh the fact that he's active again after three years, if you don't know, he makes, like, in my opinion, the funniest uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged style content. Better than Team Four Star, better than whoever the fuck was doing it before. Well, he was. He was. I don't know. He might have lost it. He might not have it no more. We'll I don't see. Know. We'll see. Wow. Shout, are we shouting out a bridge series? All right, I want to shout out no, uh, no, 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 Otaku no, no, Club, no, no, the Otaku no. Clubhouse of Bridge no, Series. Mm, no, I didn't agree to that. You fucking rip up the contract. <laughs> what you don't you don't want to shout out the Otaku Clubhouse too? The Revenge, Electric Boogaloo. No, anyway, no. can't say I do. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think anyway, I think that's all. Yeah, uh, any, yeah. Let's close up this week. Any uh, last remarks? Uh, oh, I got something. Uh, 
within the next couple of days, possibly, I believe that it comes out next Tuesday or the Tuesday after, Tales of Bazaria will be coming out, and I'll probably do a little playthrough of it alongside of my buddy Hawkeyser the Final Brave over here. That's the first I'm hearing about this. Uh, <laughs> I guess I don't get a choice. Yeah. You got to be on the lookout for that. And of course, come back next week for next episode of the Otaku Clubhouse cast and uh, uh, say say goodbye to the people. Bye, people. Fuck off. <laughs>